All right, folks, welcome to episode 46 of the podcast. Phil here with Clarky. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about our beloved Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it literally needs no more of an introduction than that, so please enjoy. Woo! Well, Mr. Fact Finder Man, <laughs> what have you got for us today regarding the MCU? Um, not the Manchester University. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, today we enroll in this. <laughs> so there's twenty courses. No, there's um, there's twenty, there's twenty films in total. Uh, they're complete so budgets. Far. So far, yeah, that are out and pure wide release right now. You can either go and see or buy. Um, the budgets are estimated between, and this is over all the films, all twenty, between a total of three point eight to four point zero five billion dollars. Their total box office is seventeen point five three billion dollars. So So they made their money back a little bit then? At worst they've made like thirteen and a half billion. Yeah. Which is just what, seven hundred million roughly per film profit, if you're that even about. Um so the uh, uh, No, it's alright, like it's not too bad. So it's the highest grossing film franchise of all time. Yeah. By that, that makes about sense. But then it's because of the, the majority of the films they've released, though, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. But then um, again, I suppose if I was released 100 films, it still wouldn't... No, it needs to, to be good. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, distribution companies have varied. So from 2008 to 11, it was Paramount, Paramount Pictures. 2012 to present was Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. Obviously, they bought Marvel. Um, and there's two films that were released separately. One was The Incredible Hulk, which was Universal Pictures, and the other one was Sony, um, which was Spider Man because they own Spider Man still. Yeah. So, um, essentially, the Spider Man films, Marvel are allowed to release them, but Sony still own finance and have final creative control over the film. Could you imagine? <laughs> imagine you know the guys were like, "Yeah, we made this film. This is brilliant. Send it over to Sony." Don't like, Don't it. like it. What's wrong with it? It's too bright. Spider-Man costume's not right. <laughs> it's, too, it's too too heavy killer, bro. Can you not just no, like um, CGI the, the, the costume <laughs> up? No. There's no venom. <laughs> oh dear. But uh Oh dear. So there's twenty films. Um uh, there are currently uh twelve others in various stages of production right it's now. Just insane. So thirty two um, films, like that's just twenty nineteen we're gonna see Captain of Marvel. Yeah. Avengers four. Not together. Is, technically you might be able to just watch it on a wee iPad and then also but like no we'll, we'll see Captain Marvel in March so five months we will see Avengers so 4 um, it's May I think and that's still quite close April, as well May, yeah. so it's not going to be too much of a gap which will work quite well I think yeah, um, yeah. then we're going to get Spider-Man 2 so Spider-Man Far From Home which is in 2019 yeah um, which is being filmed all over the world right now which is really cool that makes sense, uh, he's not just in New York he's like everywhere which is going to be cool far from home yep yeah. exactly and also nice we touch on the homecoming mm-hmm. um, and then there's three new films scheduled for 2020 three films for 2021 and three films for 2022 um, as probably everyone knows there's currently the three phases yeah phase one was Iron Man 1 Incredible Hulk Iron Man 2 Thor Captain America 1 and then the first Avengers Phase 2 was Iron Man 3, Thor 2, Captain America 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Age of Ultron, which is Avengers film, and then Ant-Man 1. And then Phase 3, it's not finished yet, but currently it has Captain America 3, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Ragnarok, which is Thor 3, Black Panther, uh, Infinity War, which is obviously Avengers, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then the next two that will finish it off will be uh, Captain Marvel and then the Avengers 4, and then... After that, they think they're actually going to get rid of the, um, the phases. They're mm-hmm. not going to bother with those anymore. Yeah. So right away through to twenty twenty two, they might not actually bother with even it. bother. So, um, phase three is by far the best as well. Yeah, so far I think. But then again, we were, we were discussing this before even starting the podcast. Was like, obviously they got better because of they they've got you know by yep. Disney. So Disney's went. Yeah, have all the money. Have all, all of it and, and make <laughs> make all of it. Yeah. Um. So reasons so speaking of money we've also mentioned the mcu has made currently roughly 17 and a half billion dollars so much money phase three of that alone um has been 8.4 billion oh, okay then infinity war of that 8.4 has been 2.05 jesus 
Um, then next closest to that was Black Panther. Yeah. Um, so in currently in phase three, three films have grossed over a billion, and Avengers has grossed over two. So Avengers, um, Infinity War, Black Panther, and Civil War, Captain America: Civil War, which is Captain America three, yeah. have all grossed over a billion. The lowest was Ant Man and the Wasp, which was six twenty two million. Um, so you can see there's quite a difference. Um, but then again. And what's those box office? Is it still in the, is it still in the cinema? Is Ant-Man the Wasp? No, it was very short run. It didn't seem very long at all. And it also, it was you know it really didn't help that film. It was like released in America way before it was released here. Yeah, I know. That was rubbish. Like yeah. what was going on there? Yeah. You know that would not have helped that film. Worldwide releases help whenever it's like out roughly the same time. And yeah, also spoilers and stuff. About it. You know it's it's not good. Yeah. So phase one was eight point four. Phase two brought in five point two. Again, the Avengers film is the top. So Ultron earned 1.4. Iron Man 3 was the next closest at 1.2. And again, Iron, Iron Man, Man 3? Yep. <gasps> Thor Dark World was fifth. Captain America Winter Soldier, I can't believe, was fourth out of I six. I think I prefer that over um, all of them. Yeah, and Guardians of the Galaxy came third. That's insane. By 500 million off Iron Man 3. That's how far away it was. It wasn't even close. Hi though, Robert Downey Jr. is really popular, isn't he? And Guardians, so was, so was people Chris didn't Pratt. really know who, like people at the time, like Guardians being really popular after Guardians, yeah, because everyone was like, who the hell are the Guardians? And then, in all fairness, the advert and the trailer and stuff looked hilarious, yeah. But like people didn't really know whether they had three films to get used to Iron Man, yeah. So by the third film, they're pretty ready for him. Poor Ant Man was the bottom of that again, um, earning a paltry five hundred nineteen million dollars. Um, and then phase one it brought in the least um, of the three phases so 8.4 for phase three 5.2 roughly for phase two and then phase one brought in 3.8 of which almost half of that was the Avengers alone it brought in one and a half billion dollars so that's another record that those three films so far um, obviously if the fourth one which I'm sure it will will gross over a billion it'll be a new record that three of the same like Avengers, Avengers, Avengers have all made over a billion dollars. Yeah. Um, no one's ever done that before. But Avengers made one and a half. Um, Incredible Hulk was the lowest out of every single one of them. It made 263 million. Um, Iron Man 2 outsold Iron Man 1 which I think sort of goes hand in hand with they knew who Iron Man was yeah, and they went because yeah. I don't think 2 is really that great. No, it's really um, yeah, and then which people um, soon fucking find out whenever they see it. So yeah, that they're very popular. Um, I think I'd I'd see a, a, a Hulk film now. Mm. You know, I think it'd be a lot better with Mark Ruffalo in it. Yeah, he's just good, isn't he? Yeah, but the thing is, good. like, it's hard to even sort of what you would do with Hulk, though. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's just what he is now. I don't think he like the origin story done. Like, I'm good with it. Yeah. Um, I'm sort of I'm sort of over origin stories, you know. Yeah. Like in terms of like, I'm so glad Captain Marvel isn't an origin story. No, because like she imagine. just is Captain Marvel. Yeah. And then there's the odd flashback that I think will sort of show where she sort of came from, but it won't be yeah. like a whole. Oh look at me! I'm. I mean, you, you know, don't really need them. Like, I mean, if you're going to go and see the film, you know why they're there. Yep. You know, you don't need exactly. Them. Like you know, who Carol, da- Carol Danvers is by that point, and um, <coughs> pardon me, and uh, if you don't, just take a better reading. Yeah, better read. I mean, like, there's there's comics out there for a reason. Isn't exactly, there? like you know, at the end of Infinity War, whenever he pushes the Nick Fury presses the the button and bloop, that's bloop, who bloop, they're bloop. that's who they're calling. You know, um, so I thought it was Ghostbusters, but I thought it was Wonder Woman. No, uh, but the, <laughs> that, but that the, is worse than Ghostbusters. <laughs> that's worse than Ghostbusters. You don't ever say that. Can you imagine? Some but, woman uh, coming with a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. But um, apparently, in the new Wonder Woman, then. 85 you call it or 80 something Wonder Woman oh, the newest Wonder Woman 85 I don't know I don't follow the DC universe no it's, I'm not a massive fan of it I like Wonder Woman because her film is very good but um, it was good I enjoyed it yeah we, we, out we of all of them good. it just but in fairness if you in my opinion and this is just my opinion because obviously other people will vehemently disagree but um, you're very wrong yeah like I just don't see how anyone could say the DC universe comes close it just doesn't to Marvel yeah well I mean in, in cinematic wise yeah definitely that's what I mean sorry in pure DCU yeah. and a DCCU and uh, yeah. Marvel the, the MCU it's just not close yeah it, well 
Well, obviously, I haven't released as much. As I just feel like it was rushed, though. It was like, here, have uh, Superman. Wait, Marvel are doing some cool stuff. Have Batman and Superman. Yeah. Oh, God, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Marvel have done another thing. Right, put Wonder Woman in there, and then next we're going to do Justice League. Yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah. Like, oh, have, like, five seconds within Batman versus Superman. They explain uh, on a CCTV footage that the Flash is fast. You see Aquaman's eye looking through something and uh, cyborg cyborg getting like electrocuted and the next thing it's like and there's your characters yeah <laughs> yeah but that like I think it really was just it was just rushed because of Marvel was just going so far ahead with everything ah, but you but know the thing is like, they were calm and calculated they did everything yep. perfectly this has been planned from 2008 yeah. to 2022 so far mm-hmm. that's insane yeah and DC's like what you going to chuck everything at him Oh, just oh, we'll make like know. a DC versus Jurassic Park or something. <laughs> Could you imagine? Please help us. Chris do Pratt something. would be in two universes. Yeah, be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Be funny, like. But uh, no, like out of all the Marvel films that I've watched over the years, I honestly like. It's what I sort of said to you before. I don't think there's any of them. That I would sit down and go, I don't really want it. Like, if it was on, I would be like, I'm turning this off. No. Like, there's not one. Like, no. as much as you can put from 1 to 20 in your favourite to least favourite, even the worst one's pretty good. Yeah. In comparison to other crap films, that you're like, that is a bad film. Yeah. Like, there's none. I'd rather watch Incredible Hulk than a lot of. Yeah. Other movies. films. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you sort of know what you're getting. Yeah. Um, I think Hulk's actually bottom of both our lists. But, um. <laughs> it's not well. It's yeah, more just you know you know what like, annoys me about it like. I just prefer Ruffalo. Yeah, if they just stuck with one instead of changing from Bannett or from Eric Banner to Edward Norton. To, yeah. Like just if you're gonna change it, then don't make a film. Yeah. <laughs> just leave it. Like yeah. if you're not happy with the actor, don't do it. Yeah, but, but obviously they were to release the film, so it makes sense. Yeah. But at the same time, I thought Eric Banner would have been a good. Yeah, Hulk. He, he was good. I just don't think he would have fitted in with this yeah. universe. I think Ruffalo um, just fits in. Yeah, but I wonder if that's more just because that's what we're used to now. No, I just think you know, right, I like, think like, Eric Bana is very. Um, I don't know, like he's very sort of. He's almost too cool. Yeah, I think he's I mean? not. He's not nerdy enough. Yeah, yeah. It's like Andrew Garfield. I think he struggled with Spider Man. Yeah, like. Don't get me wrong. But he was, was a better Peter Parker than he was a Spider-Man, I thought. Yeah. Like, but the thing is, I think he was almost too cool. Because I looked at him and I was like, you're not a nerd. Mm. You're just not. Yeah. Like, you are cool. Yeah. Like, in real life, you're going I, out I with Emma I'd, Stone. I've actually, That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I would have preferred uh, Tobin Maguire, I think. He was... He I was... think... Well, actually, I'll tell you what. Actually, I'll change what I said. He... Tobin Maguire is a better Peter Parker, mm. but a worse Spider-Man. Yeah. And... Andrew Garfield was too cool, in my opinion, to be... Which maybe isn't an insult. To be that, Peter Parker, you reckon? Yeah, I think he was too cool. Whereas, I think Tom Holland is just it. In the middle. Yeah, yeah. like, he is just... Oh, he's so cool. But the thing about bringing in... Is it Donald Glover? Is Miles Morales as well for... Yes, but I thought... Is no, that it's his, I thought that was his uncle. And... No, like Miles Morales does become in the comics. He does become. Yeah, but they're not making like a separate thing for him. I don't know, but I I thought Donald Glover in that could be completely wrong, and I'm sure somebody will tell me if I am. But I could have sworn in Homecoming whenever he arrested that guy that that was actually Miles Morales's relative. It's not him. Yeah, maybe. Like I think. Maybe you're right. But that was a really random sort of like, why is he there? Yeah. Like unless he has some other part to there play. There has to be something. You know, it. it's it's a really it random. Been for a reason, would they? It's just such a big actor for yeah, or a big certainly celebrity for for, for nothing. But then yeah. do Marvel like if you think about it, right? Marvel films and superhero films before didn't specifically say right. We're gonna get the biggest actors. Yeah. We're gonna pay them the biggest money, and we're gonna make an awesome film. It was like. Okay, who could we get that might do this because it might ruin their career Yeah. because who's going to take them seriously after they've been I don't know Captain America in a really tight suit with a circle frisbee shield Yeah. you know like 
Whereas now it's like, oh my word, you were Thor, or oh my word, you were Captain America. I'm sure Chris Evans, he was, he was a year in Torch as well, wasn't he, in Fantastic Four? Oh, don't even. Yeah. yeah it wasn't good. He was Wolf on that. And uh, Michael, Michael B. B. Jordan was mm-hmm. also a human torch? Yeah. And then he became, oh my word, it's completely gone on my head, the bad guy in Black Panther. Yeah. Do you know, do you remember his name? No. Don't remember his name. No. Probably like Boom Shakalak or something. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell you his yeah. name, but he was good. Yeah. Like as a bad guy, he was freaking cool. He is cool. very villainous though, I think. Yeah, but he was freaking cool. It sort of annoys me that that's, that's happened. <laughs> I just put a bit of a stain on the entire universe for me just because of the fact that there are two people that have been in different roles that are in. I have there. Those movies are crap. Like, Fantastic what Four. Ones? Fantastic Four? What? They're both terrible? <sighs> Don't. You didn't enjoy them. I, I thought they were funny. <laughs> no. I thought they were funny. I went to see the newer one. Oh, no, it was Michael awful. B. Jordan and stuff. In 2000, well, it must have been out in 2015. Because mm. I went to see it in the Chinese theatre uh-huh. in LA when yeah. I went on my own. It was the first night I got there and was like, right, go get something chilled out, do something cool. And at the same time, sort of, did not really have to do anything. It was in the evening, like, and I, I'm not being funny. I was sitting there, be a jet lagger because the film was terrible. I was falling asleep, and I never do that in the cinema. Like, I mean, I was sitting there going like, head dropping, like, oh, you know, it was not good. Like, no. Um. Then again, they, they've sort of forgot what those films happened. They just don't know. I would. Was it, were they Marvel films? Like yeah, no, they they were yeah. They like, were, I know they're associated with Marvel, but they, they weren't the same like way part Deadpool of the universe. and Venom are. They weren't no, they but weren't, they weren't part of the universe. It was like the Fantastic Four owned by Fox or anything. No, I'm trying to find excuses for the MCU I, here. Cause, I think it was. I think they were. I think they are owned by Fox, either Fox or Sony or something that they own. Because they're just terrible films. Like if they were, I know honestly, like see if Marvel could, and maybe it's just too hard, or if Disney could, they just need to buy all these characters back. Yeah. Like the Fantastic Four could be amazing if you get the right actors and get the right. But I don't think, like, that's the big problem. Like, whenever they. You can go and buy people, but <laughs> if they're already owned by certain companies, they're not going to be like, yeah, you can have the entire rights to this person. But you, you can make the film that. and we cannot make any money out of it. Well, they've made $13.5 billion. Yeah. Go and buy them. <laughs> no, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, there has to be a contractual agreement. Yeah, well, that's like, the thing. They're not for sale. They're okay. not going to be like. They probably already have, you know, tried. Yeah. And then everyone's just been like, nah they're ours um, you can ask us and you can pay us to use the character yeah, that's like exactly Quicksilver for example in yeah. um, Ultron but I don't understand why you couldn't go like right we've got the money we can go over here and we can use your character and for enough you're going to have final say but we're doing that well on our own little just thing just let us do it just let us do it and don't say anything about it then you'll get more money back anyway because if you change yeah. something they would be like well obviously that was your but change but then I wonder if it comes the same way like if it's bad and Sony's names on it, they'll be like, well, it was actually them, I don't know, and, like, and Sony will be like, no, or Marvel will be like, no, it wasn't, it was they you. They publish it, though. What do you, oh, well, no, they do put it out, but like they, as, as it says, they, final they have full creative control yeah. over, so like, Homecoming, Sony would have been sitting there going, yeah, okay. But then or, I think no. if you believe in something that much, you shouldn't really, and if it is bad, then take it on the chin to say, well, I enjoyed it. Yeah, which I know a lot of, um, as we mentioned, DC fans do, um, with the likes of the Joker, yeah. Jared Leto's Joker, or, you know, because he's not everyone's cup of tea. I don't think he's that bad, but I don't think he's that good either. I just don't enjoy his acting. See, that's that's the thing, like, other people, for example, will look at, I don't know, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and be like, no. Nah. Yeah, no, no. Whereas everyone else is like, oh my word. Like, but the thing is, like, it's, it's, it's weird because whenever you see these films, it's the, it's the same with the majority of films, even Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yes. Honestly. The one with Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> yeah, but, he was more full uh, was it Sarah Michelle Gellar Sarah Michelle Gellar um, couldn't tell you anybody else oh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name Ron Atkinson was in it too uh, he was the he was the weird yeah, guy yeah. yeah oh what do you call him Matthew Lillard was um, Shaggy Shaggy yeah, yeah he was Shaggy <laughs> I could not have pictured anybody else playing Shaggy oh he was Quite amazing wasn't he absolutely brilliant he in fairness like whenever you watch that you're like yep then the Cardellini was um, Thelma Thelma my glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Fred! <laughs> yeah, but even in those sort of films, like especially in the the Marvel universe, there's I don't think there's anybody you could possibly pick to, to play anybody else. Nobody that see, obviously, because Thor couldn't play Captain America and Captain America couldn't play Thor, and not in my head. No, but if that had been the first way around, we'd probably be saying the same I thing. I don't think I would though. But... That's the thing. I don't think because I think Thor is Thor. Like Chris yeah. Hemsworth is Thor. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. 
And the thing is, though, as well, um, I mean, we're not even thinking of the fact that Chris Evans is done. Yeah, he's finished. But then, obviously, you know, you know will Bucky take that? Well, hopefully, probably. Hopefully, that's the case. You know, but I still Sebastian think he Stan. would be a good Captain America, though. Yeah, Sebastian Stan, yeah, for yeah. sure. But obviously, he's not going to be Steve Rogers, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Um, did you hear actually Sebastian Stan is touted to play a young Luke Skywalker in a Star Wars film? That's cool. Have you seen how much he looks like him? No. Oh, my word. Oh, no, yeah, I could sort of imagine that, though. I'll show you it after. It's scary. I can imagine that. Um, even, even with CGI as well, you could even... You could Martin make... Hamill tweets him all and calls him son now. <laughs> so you're like, oh, my word. That's strange. That would be really cool. Because um, there's Gravity talk... first names. Eh? There's talk that... Um, he could potentially take the mantle of young Luke for other anthology films and uh, Alden um, Einreich or I don't really know if I'm saying that right but uh, he, he could continue to play Han and then Donald Glover as Lando and so on like they can use these characters if they want to that'd um, be cool that'd but be, obviously that'd Carrie's be... a bit of a like Leia's a bit of a harder one because yeah you're not going to get anybody to play she's the only one that's actually gone yeah so you know it's harder to replace her really I don't think you would. You could replace her. Well, recast as a younger her. I, don't think, I think that'd could, be hard. I don't know what you could. I don't even know if there's anybody there on the market that would be able to do that though. Nobody I can think of as a young Leia around the same age as you know Sebastian Stan and yeah, uh, old Einrich. I really hope I'm saying that right. It's a really hard surname to say. Einrich, it sounds right, doesn't it? Heinrich. I know it's like Einrich. I it's like E I something. Probably Enric or something like that. Either way, well, he's he's really good in solo, but um, there's talk that they could play the younger ones. That'd be kind of um, cool. But it just yeah. came from obviously talking about Captain America. He has that sort of range that it's not Captain America; it's yeah. Steve Rogers that Chris Evans plays, who is Captain America. Yeah. Whereas it could be then Bucky Barnes, who is. But there are Captain variants America. of all all the characters. So that's the thing. Yeah, are, which is like, good. Exactly. But at the same time, you don't want them to go. No, I love Chris Evans. Yeah, I think he was really good as Captain America. Oh, he's unreal. That's like, can you imagine another Thor? I honestly can't. Whereas I can imagine Sebastian Stan because he's been touted to me the whole like for the last like three films that he's been in. Yeah. Like I'm like, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Whereas I could even, really you, yeah, I could even think of playing Captain. You know, your man who played Quicksilver. Aaron Taylor Johnson. I think he could do really well as as Captain America. It's a shame he died, you know. Yeah. Because he, his, his character had a lot more in him like that you could have used. Yeah. But then now, with the Avengers 4 Titan time travel, is he yeah. alive again? True. True. I don't know. It's true, though. So, and she, obviously... She the go back and, and try and save her brother. Like yep, she's dead, too. Well, she's not, she's not dead. She's, well, she is, but she's in the yeah. Soul Stone, allegedly, because it doesn't devour souls it just holds them yeah so allegedly that's where everyone is allegedly <laughs> so uh but yeah um oh, there's so much you can talk about with this wasn't it i know but uh, it's a it's a big problem whenever it comes down to to now whenever you obviously you've got all, like, all these characters right they're bringing out new films yes. so they obviously add new characters in but then whenever they sort of like if if you know like captain america happens and then he ends up he is finished now what happens if anything That's else so finishes sad. though? Like what if what, what if Thor retires? Robert Downey Jr. is done. Is he? Yep. Allegedly, he's gonna die in this. And like he's just done. Iron Man gone. Oh. That's it. Okay. Apparently. Well, that's good. He's oh. my least favorite. Is he? Yeah. I like him. I don't think he adds much to the group. He's like the leader. Yeah, he doesn't add much to the group though. He's funny. And he oh, does all the plans. He is funny. He's not funny. I think he's funny. He's not funny. Maybe Robert Downey Jr. is funny. Iron Man's not funny. Well, they are more or less the same. Like, I just feel like he is just himself. It's like, I, I can't imagine him, you know, there's not a massive part of what he does that I'm like, yeah, that's not really him. It's like watching... Uh, ba, ba, ba. I mean, I think he is good for us, Tony, Tony Stark and Chris Iron Pratt, Man. That's the name I was thinking of. Oh, Chris like, Pratt. Like, whenever you watch him, you're like, yeah, it's just Chris Pratt. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I think... He's, it, it'd be hard to find someone to play Iron Man and Tony Stark. No, it's not going to happen. Because it, it, is, it is tough, but it might happen I'll, eventually. That's apparently, it's just going to be Tom Holland that takes over like the mantle of, Yeah. I'm going to be the smart guy now. Um, It's allegedly going to be Captain Marvel as the new focal point. She's going to be, Brie Larson is going to be the face of the Marvel Universe for the next X amount of years. Like she's going to be, because she is the most powerful character. Yeah. Um. 
Because that makes sense. So, but then, like I said, like if people start dropping out, those you know, like if people like obviously, you know, due to money, they're not gonna be like no. Like uh, War Machine, he was recast for one film, the Don Cheadle. Yeah. From whoever it was before, I can't remember. No idea. But apparently, he wanted like stupid money, and they were like, no. Nah. <laughs> You're not even a big part of the series. Thing, no. Really. I like War Machine though. Well, should be I like Don Cheadle as well yeah. as War Machine though, but I think. I think they have to go through a trial and error process that obviously they did with Human Torch. They had to be like, yeah, you're not right for that role. You're you're not correct at all. And they still haven't found it. No. I don't know who it. would actually be good at that, you know. Um, I don't I don't know. I think it, it just depends on the type of film. I just can't yeah. think of one person. I'd be like, that's the one, that person. I suppose, like, but I just hope no one else sort of finishes. Like, cause it, it, obviously, it will happen eventually, but I, just, I think it's going to be really sad when everyone just sort of stops and goes, yeah, I'm not Thor, I'm not... Black Widow he I'm still not. wants to be Thor he sort of said I don't want to be done yet which is good but then will he do it to death though do you know what I mean um, I don't really know I mean he's he works in all avenues like if they want to do a more cosmic route where they're like in space and stuff that suits him Yeah. he can use the um, Stormbreaker um, axe yeah. uh, hammer whatever it is yeah. to um, basically to, to call the Bifrost with it so he yeah. can go between realms he can go to different planets oh no no that so. but it's just like is there too many films that you could possibly make like I think making three films of Iron Man was pretty a big stretch like yeah the side and like the second one yeah um, I think two would have done if the third was the second one but I think it was more Iron Man was their cash cow then Captain America now Thor yeah Guardians obviously make good money obviously the Avengers is the yeah. draw like everybody goes to see it even if you haven't seen the ones before everyone goes to see it um, but with Guardians 3 up in the air which at the moment which yeah exactly it's so crap because you can have a Thor cameo on that yeah because him and Rocket are mates now so <laughs> that's such an unlikely friendship it's amazing thing. so funny like um, and apparently this new Avengers film starts five years after five years it's a long old time like isn't it yep. but then again you have to put in the research to try, try and find them all over again you couldn't have like two months later and be like that's where they are I'm did, you, did you watch the um, or did sorry did you read about the trailer did yeah. you read the breakdown of the trailer oh yes yes uh, I, the one you posted in the chat what one did oh post? did I post it in the chat I think so oh okay then yeah <laughs> that one yeah it um, if you read that that's allegedly the new how the how the trailer that's coming out in a few months goes yeah about having the infinity stone or infinity gauntlet in the middle of like all busted in like a field and then at one point within the trailer he realizes one of the infinity stones has disappeared mm -hmm. and then he gets angry and then sort of thinks yes um, and allegedly it's called avengers annihilation they think there's theories that um thanos isn't the big bad in it someone else is you so. haven't get any bigger than the Thanos after the gauntlet though well because it won't have it's full power obviously it'll still be super strong but like it'll have stuff missing Um, was it Annihilator Annihil I can't remember I think it was the Annihilator I think you call him um, but basically or Vision you mean <laughs> uh, <laughs> so mad um, but I don't know like Basically, they think there's going to be a big, like another big bad that's not going to be Thanos. Um, I hope the hell just like, I think I read something in the in that breakdown where the Thanos and Hulk sort of smirk at each other. Oh, it was. Um, and they're ready to go down, basically. Yeah, I mean, Thor, apparently you see Hulk and he's been like training for like five years because he's like, I need to, like, and my time is coming and it's coming soon. Yeah. And apparently it's like, it's Hulk, but it's Banner's voice. Oh. that comes out so he's like my time is coming and it's coming soon mm. in Hulk form and Banner's voice apparently that's kind of cool Um, and then obviously Rocket and Thor are still together yeah. and Nebula's with them and just it just sounds really good and then there's that nice scene apparently where I think it's going to be a flashback scene but where they arrive back on Earth from Titan Tony Stark and whatever and Stark walks off and sees Captain America and uh, Cap's like you know good to see you Tony and Tony just broken just sort of smiles like yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it is even after all the events of the previous films 
I'm looking forward to them at the same time I'm not because I don't really want to go any further now because I want to be done. I know 2022 is quite a long time away. <laughs> we say that. Yeah, exactly. We thought Infinity War was going to be quite a long time away and it sort of came around like We're nothing. almost at the next one. Yeah. so it's so mad, isn't it? It's annoying because <laughs> like, I, like, I don't want it at the end at the same time I want to see them. You know, it, it is sort of a catch when you can't really do much about it. Big year for films next year. Three Marvel films and a Star Wars. And the Star Wars finishes the Skywalker saga. That's crazy. That's going to have a lid it. on that. That is just dumb. Isn't that mad? Well, until they do a... Skywalker saga's done. That's it. Oh, really? There's no more. What about your man, then? Who? Sebastian Stan that's going to be doing the... Oh, that's just like cameo roles, potentially. Like, it's the Skywalker saga is finished. Like, that is it. And then every film afterwards... It's only talk that he could potentially be oh. a cameo role as a young Luke or something. That's kind of sad, then, to think. So many things coming to an end, but then again, it's been like, what, like 20 years not that long? Since? I don't know, 10 years? Well, when, was, when was the last? Force Awakens was like 2015. No, well, the last one before that, though. Uh, 2003. Jesus, really? Yeah. It was 99, 01, 03. And then before that, it was, obviously, the first one was out in 77. Yeah. So. It's been a long time coming, though, hasn't it? Yeah, but... I don't want to be over. I freaking love all these stuff. But well, then, but at the same time, once Avengers, like, I still want to see how it ends because obviously the way Infinity War ends is like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but at the same, like, I don't want to, I don't want it to finish and then obviously there's going to be singular films coming out again until, yeah. and then whenever that's sort of finished, like, I don't, you know, like, it's whenever we watch something on Netflix, we see something on Netflix and yeah. then we're like, like we were talking about Big Mouth earlier on. <laughs> like once you finish that season, you have to wait another year for the next season's out. Yeah. Whenever all these films are done, they're done. Yeah. There's no more years. There's something's going to come after that. Like there'll be, they'll probably reboot something or they'll start a new, a new series or something. But I don't think there'll be. It can't continue on. There's no way it can't. The actors will get inevitably older. Oh yeah, but then you just replace them. No, you, you don't. Do. No, but you like, don't. no, but you just don't have like Captain America anymore. You just move away from Captain America or Thor, and you just have other heroes. There's hundreds. I know there are, but it's it's, it's not the same. No, but then you can have obviously there's loads of Avengers. Yeah. So you can still carry on Avengers to the death, which is what I wouldn't do. Yeah. I'd end it at a certain point and maybe start. I can't again. imagine there'll be another Avengers after this. No, definitely not. It wouldn't make much sense to to sort of. Not for a bit anyway. No. But at the same time, I think it, I, I just wouldn't want to do it to a death where you have all these different actors come in. Now, obviously, it's going to happen eventually. We'll be in our 50s and there'll be some new Thor coming in and we'll be like, what the hell is this fella? Oh, He's Hemsworth. not Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth was better. Yeah. yeah. But then, same time, you could say the same about Star Wars. Like, I didn't... I was iffy. Whenever I first heard they were recasting Han Solo um, or Harrison Ford um, and they got Holden in, I'm not even gonna try and say his surname again. I've said it like four <laughs> times. And uh, they got Alden in, and uh, then obviously I got a lot of bad press. And it turns out Solo was amazing. Yeah. And he was so good as Han Solo. Like. Yeah. You know, I've had conversations with people who were just like, I believed him. Yeah. As Han Solo, obviously there are certain points where he brings his own method into it. Yeah. But like, there's certain things the way he says things, the way he does like certain facial expressions and movements and you know you're just like oh my word the way he stands you're like oh my word it's yeah. literally the same yeah and uh there's like a bit where he like does like this sort of like smirk and you're just like yep but then that's annoying because that's not Han Solo that's that's Harrison Ford yeah but Han Harrison Ford was just playing Han Solo that's not the way Harrison Ford gets on in real life like he played but, but it is he does it in Indiana Jones as well he does it yeah, it's not not he to the does, same though, extent but, but he like, does he does the smirk he does the eye thing he does he does all the same thing oh, no, that's he why does. Heather likes him oh well for sure but like um, well she really like Alden then but um, he's a younger version no. but uh, he uh, no he's good he's very good um, but as I say they recast him and given it a chance I was like yeah it's really good I still haven't watched it yet like I'm it's not, really good. Not that I'm like you know not yeah, giving yeah, yeah. a chance. It's just I just haven't actually got around to watch it yet. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's a good film, but um, much better than I thought it was going to be. Personally, preferred it to Rogue One. But then again, that is like a long time in between recasting people, like. Mm-hmm. But so is when we're fifty. <laughs> yeah. It's the same, but at the same time, if I'd be surprised if Marvel don't do what Star Wars are doing after um, a, a period of time, is that they turn more to TV series. 
I know they're doing that sort of, but like they're not really. It's an awful lot of TV meaningful. series, though. There's loads at the Netflix. moment. Yeah, I mean, there's what. And they're three. all sort of flopping as well. Well, no, I think they do all right. Obviously, a lot of people love Luke Cage because of its cultural yeah. impacts, and Iron Fist didn't do that well. But apparently, season two is much better. It's um, cancelled now. Anyway. It's darker. Yeah, um, and Jessica Jones is just it's good. Like it's, you know, she's a good actor, actress. Sorry. Or maybe they call themselves actors now. I'm really not sure. But um, <laughs> like the <laughs> the feminazis coming out. No, legitimately, no, I just no, don't no. know. I, I'm pretty sure they just say actor now, but you just don't know. But um, see the point in giving it a female. Uh, yeah, connotation. There's no yeah. point. But um, no, but like if they do, if they do that, I don't know. If they do that, then it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of stuff to watch because I I sort of just fell off the radar with with Agents of Shield and. Yeah, I think I got serious three maybe there's just so many there's so many episodes I don't know like we always say we're watching something and having something to watch but at the same yeah. time like there's only so many filler episodes you can give us before we want to just drift off and go that's yeah, boring it's like The Walking Dead yeah exactly Yeah. I haven't started this new series yet I'm not going to bother watching um, it ever again I don't think no, no. I want to watch this because it's Andrew Lincoln's last I don't care um, and I think I've given him that much that yeah, I'll give him his last hurrah and then I'll probably leave it. Probably watch the last episode and be like, oh, he's left. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't really care about it. Like, I, I used to really like it because, it, you know, it comics. Was badass. Were, yeah, yeah, the comics were really good. And I was like, if the, if it's going to go with the comics, that'll be really good. Yeah. But it just sort of drifted off and now it's not even anywhere near the comics anymore. So No, it's a bit random, really. Yeah, so what's yeah. the point? Yeah. There's, there's no, you're just watching The Walking Dead now. You're not watching the comics in, in life. You're not watching them coming to real yeah. life. You know I've seen I mean? some memes and stuff being like, yeah. Uh, Basically, it was basically about The Walking Dead, how it should just be done. Yeah. And I think that it's done its thing. But it's still such a cash cow for them that they don't really care. But that's what annoys me. Like, that's what I don't want for Marvel. It'll never in a million years. See, they've built that much of a fan base now. Yeah. They would need to really DC the life out of it. <laughs> for, you know what DC I mean? DC the life. Like, that's terrible. They, they would. Like, honestly, like, if you think um, how, how blasted those films were, like... Yeah. Apart from Wonder Woman, everyone was like, "That's amazing" because it is good. Yeah. Um, but Justice League is just one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made was buying that in four K, thinking it might be better. It's not. Did you buy it? Mm-hmm. You mentalist. Somebody was like, "Oh, the CGI is not great." I was like, "Might have just been a dodgy TV." You see. <laughs> and then, uh, and then <laughs> I bought it in four K. I was like, "No, it's worse because <laughs> it's you, more clearly worse." Did you see the um, the mustache? Henry Cavill's mustache. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I see that on a on a on a GIF on Twitter. I was like, that can't be real. Yeah, it is. I went and googled the the, the scene. I was like, yeah. How do you get away with that? Yeah, it's terrible. You can see, a, <laughs> you can see it's like it's a big mass. I was like, it's, you can clearly see yeah, there's something it's wrong there. Terrible, like and. What did they do? Just put like a green screen thing over his mustache and was like, nope, that's what. <laughs> put a mirror. Yeah, like what? What it just happened? Looks so bad, but like in fairness, what I will say is that film, was interrupted by I think Zack Schneider was doing it originally and then I think something really bad happened to someone in his family it might have his daughter ended up with some really really bad illness oh wow potentially cancer or something like that it was really bad um, and then Joss Whedon came in and took over oh and obviously he did the Avengers yeah um, I was sort of like yeah you know what I'll give this a go because I really enjoyed those films and then as I say somebody was like no don't CGI is terrible film's not good I was like bad TV 25 quid later no it's not it's just bad 25 bad. quid that's how much a 4k is but, yeah, but why would you spend 25 quid in a DC film well I have them all anyway but I don't tend to buy them for myself yeah. I get them as gifts like I have two Batman vs Superman sorry Man of Steel in the house that's a dreadful film yeah but I couldn't I, like my dad got me one and my mum's husband got me one so who am I going to ask to take one back it's too late <laughs> So I've got two of them now. That's grim, like. Yeah, do you want one? No. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... If you, want, if you want me to burn it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't understand why. I mean, I'm not... I am a huge Marvel fan. Not yes. to say that I'm not, like, a, a DC basher. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of DC comics and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I would, I would bash them. Novels, like, but their universe is great. It really is good. It's done right. But the cinematic universe has just gone down the toilet. That specific one, like, if you don't include... I think the Dark Knight trilogy is amazing. Um, but it wasn't really... It was very dark. Yeah, but it is DC. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's still done properly. Yeah. And pardon me, if this new Joker film 
with um, Joaquin Phoenix. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name there. I could picture him. Is as good as people are freaking out some for some reason. Um, I just think Joaquin Phoenix is an absolute master. Oh, he's very very good. You know, but he's not very very good. He is a master. He but is, it he comes down to, good. you know, George Clooney was Batman. It was crap. Yeah, he's woeful. But woeful. George Clooney's a good actor. He is no, he's not. Jim Carrey was in that film. Yeah, he's he was a genius. Brilliant. And yeah, the he's a genius. Film was still crap. But he was still so brilliant as the Arnold actor. Arnold Schwarzenegger was in that. He's a terrible uh, actor. Who was uh, Poison Ivy? Emma Thurman? Emma... Yeah. Yeah, that film was... She's a terrible actress too. But it's full of massive stars and it still wasn't good. Massive stars Will Smith then. was in uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, but he was woeful in that. Yeah, exactly. But he's a wonderful actor. If you think beyond that as well, Margot Robbie was probably the shining light of that film. But she played Harley Quinn very well. Everyone just was like, she's class. That's all. She, was, she did it very well though. Yeah, she She did. was mentally insane. Yeah, um, but then it worked really well with uh, I Tonya or whatever you call it. I didn't see I've that. Seen I no, Tonya. Rachel says great, but um, apparently she's like pure nuts, and it's very similar. Oh. But like, uh, apparently it's really good. So, um, but if you think they they throw all these big actors in the same way Marvel did, yeah. just Marvel did it better. Yeah, it's just better. It was a better script though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you watch the first trailer, of Suicide Squad, compared to the last one, yeah, it's really dark in the first one and you're like ooh this is going to be good yeah. and then you watch the, la- the last one that's like funny and you can just tell where the reshoots have come in and you're just sort of like oh whereas whenever Marvel do reshoots if you watch the original I can't remember if it's the original trailer or one of the original actual stills I can't remember which one it is from Infinity War Hulk is in it mm-hmm. Big Hulk running you yeah, know yeah. the attack the, um, the Thanos' it's army on the film no, they've changed it to Hulk armor. It's weird. But that's a reshoot, but you don't notice because yeah. it just fits. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, we did notice. But I, Well, yeah, we did. But like when you're watching it, you're not going, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you I know, know what I mean? Like I you don't you look at it and go, no, it yeah. doesn't look natural. Yeah. You know, and they make that funny and stuff where you like trips. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, there's not like one part of it where you sit and go, no, that's a reshoot. That's not yeah, good. I suppose, like, but I don't. It is. It was weird for Suicide Squad because it was like you could see all these actors like, yes, yeah, really good, and then it did sort of bomb. But I don't think they got the right actors for the right people. What do you call a guy who who played? Uh, oh God, what's his name? I couldn't tell you anyway. He played the guy who Elder Carbon. Joe something. Oh, Joe McKinnon. No. That sort of sounds right. Yeah, I think But I you know what I'm talking about anyway. Joel McKenna. Yes, possibly. I think that's his name. Yeah. He um He was dreadful. He's yeah, but he's a really good actor. Have you ever seen House of Cards? Yeah. No, no, I've seen him I've seen well I've seen an episode of it, but I've seen him in Ah, what do you call that? The one with Liam Neeson in it. Revenant? No, uh it's not Revenant. Are you talking about the same one, The Forest of the Wolves and stuff? No. Liam Neeson. Um, I'm trying to think of the other. It was, it was, I think it was his son or something in that. Oh, then I'm not sure. I think it was anyway. I hope it was. <laughs> I'm not sure. very wrong here. <laughs> no, it was. I think it was like Tombstone or something. You call it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I've never seen it, but I know I what you're talking about. That Tombstone. is that is what one of his films called. I know one of the yeah. Neeson films called Tombstones, but no, John McCain. Walking among the Tombstones. No. No. No, it was called Tombstones that one, but I don't know what the one that John McCain oh. was in. It. If, if that is his name. See now that you're saying that that is his name. Is it? Uh, yeah, I'm almost certain. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's true. It could be like Joel Nothing. <laughs> no, I'm almost certain it is. Um, Joel McKinnon. I'll Google it. I'm trying to think of what film he was in with, with Liam Neeson, but he is. It's not Joel McKinnon is in it, the slightest. Is that is hilarious. What's What's his name? That's Joel McKinnon. Oh. You know the guy who broke a nine nine. That's Joel McKinnon Miller. Yeah, but that's what I'm getting whenever I type that in. What's his name then? His name has to be something like Joel. Is it not Joel? I'm pretty sure it's Joel. You're having me on here. I'm pretty sure it's Joel. Uh, he's definitely. Um... He was. He was your man. He was blooming Robocop. Yeah. Yeah. But is his name not Joel? See, it's not Joel Kinnaman. Well, I told you Joel it was. Kinnaman. It was something Joel. Yeah. You know he's Swedish. No. I didn't know that. Joel yeah, Kinnaman. Joel Kinnaman. Yeah, him. Well, there you go. Learned something new. Well, he... Uh, that was close. 
You were close. Very close. Sooner I looked up that name instantly, I was like, oh god, it's Joel uh, Kinnaman. That's his name. What do you call him, Brooklyn Nine Nine? Who? Do you? Joel Kim. Oh, I have no idea. I can't remember anybody in Brooklyn Nine Nine at the minute. Couldn't tell you. No, I can't remember his name. Honestly. But then. Um, I found it really bad reviews. Oh my god. Suicide Squad. No Robocop. Oh really? Forty nine percent Rotten Tomato. I don't even talk about Rotten Tomato. Six point two on IMDb. Mm, it's no, pretty grim for a Robocop yeah, film, considering all of them were like eights. Although I, I. Th- I think I did sort of want to watch that. I think it was on Amazon a while ago. I might watch it. They're doing a reboot of it again. What? Yeah. yeah. It was awful. Have you ever, have you ever seen it? No. Never the one it. with him in it? Yeah. No. Oh, it's dreadful. I know he gets blown up. That's all. Yeah, it's dreadful. <laughs> like, I think the way he died in that film was a lot less gruesome than what he died in the original one. Did you ever see the original one where he gets absolutely mopped up into pieces? Like I have, but I don't remember it. <sighs> Grim, like Long that, time that film was a horror film. <laughs> what did what they get killed by? Do you remember? Uh, uh, so, uh, what do you call that? The saw, a saw blade. He just gets his limbs and all cut off. Yeah. That's cool, Grim. Yeah, it's awful. It but, is awful. Uh, like they, they, they a make a kid not do this. Is that bandsaw? You call that? No, a bandsaw is an actual one that's on its own. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. But it's, it's just like a angle like, grinder. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But it was just. Oh, Grim! All the bleachers. Oh. No, I don't remember that. It was grim, like, but it was, it was like, it was crazy. But that Robocop film was dreadful. Oh dear, maybe I won't watch it then. Because I mean, by all means, get your own sort of opinion. On it. Like, I don't like, know. I don't want to waste two hours. Like, it was no good. Yeah, it's not really that good. Like, it's it's kind of boring. What was his name again? Joel. Joel Kinnaman. Kinnaman. That's it. Not McKinnon. I would literally had that in my head again. Joel <laughs> like, Kinnaman. Straight Joel, away. Joel Kinnaman. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. If you um, if you had to rate the Marvel film, would you have a wee, did you write any down? I didn't write it down. I can't yeah. remember what I, I wrote, but I, I I wouldn't have any more than a top five because I think that's too much to be asked. I think I have, even having a top ten would be too much to ask. Yeah, because whenever I wrote my list, <coughs> we were talking obviously, and a lot of well, we agreed a lot that a lot in the middle are very much. I really liked all of these, yeah. and they're very hard to separate. Yeah, if you know what I mean. There are they're all sort of in their own level. Yeah, where five of them that aren't. I yeah. think personally, for me anyway. Um, so I think of a few more than that would be above and then there's a bulk and then there's a the few that are ones. just not good yeah well I say not good they're still enjoyable films yeah. but so would you have like a top 7 then um three, four, five. Uh, 8 maybe top 8 yeah well you say you're top 8 I've already got, I've already got 5 so uh, so in order Infinity War first uh-huh. that's one of my favourite films I've ever seen yeah um, I can imagine my list not being too too. Ragnarok is the second one because it's just excellent. Yeah. Uh, Winter Soldier, number three. Mm-hmm. Guardians one. Then Civil War because it was like a mini Avengers and it was just so good. Yeah. Um, then I've got Avengers one, Black Panther and Spider Man. I think they sort of stand out for me. Spider Man. Yeah. Yes. It it was between Spider Man and Guardians two because I really liked Guardians two. Like it hit me in the feels. Yeah, it did. It like oh my god like, I'm not even funny I'm not even going to lie see the first time I seen that cinema I was like I'm going to cry yeah oh my word that's yeah, rough like very very rough like that particular bit alone I was just like no <laughs> and uh, I always go and see these Rachel so I was sitting there like don't you do it <laughs> don't you do it <laughs> don't you do it um, so between it was between Guardians 2 and then Spider-Man and then the bulk that I was talking about are Thor 1 Captain America 1 Ant-Man 1 Iron Man 1 Age of Ultron, Doctor Strange, Ant Man Two, and then the ones that I think are below all of those would be Iron Man Three, Iron Man Two, Thor Two, and Hulk. Yeah. Hulk specifically out there on its own probably. Yeah. Like it has to be the. If I had to watch them in an order, it probably would be far off that. But it's not even it, it is it is sort of true though because it's not even the Mark Ruffalo anyway. Yeah. So it wouldn't even make much sense for it to be there because mm-hmm. it really it really shouldn't be. No, it's one of those ones like um whenever they change character mid um. Like there's a character Daryl Naharis in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Um, he is what do you call the bad guy in the first Deadpool? Oh. Yeah, Aj- Ajax. Right. Can you picture him? His face just. Yeah. Right. Um, I think his name's I think his name's Ajax. Yeah. But he um. He uh he played Daryl Naharis, before he got that part, and then went through that. And then the next series, Darren Harris looked completely different. Oh. But then he continued to play Darren Harris for like four seasons or three seasons or whatever after. Um, and then he dies. 
No, he's still alive, I think. But oh, um, thought everyone died. But yeah, well, they probably will. But um, oh, he, no, that hasn't even happened yet, has it? No, it's gonna be next year. Oh my word! What a year! Yep. <sighs> yeah. I am gonna be so sad when I can't catch up on everything because I'm too busy. But um, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Those would be my sort of rough run in order. Well, as you know, Thor is my favorite. Yep. Which one specifically? Just Thor is, is the man. All three. No. I'm going to have Thor Ragnarok as my top one. Yeah. For definite. So good. Infinity War next. When it come. Hmm? When it come. Yeah. Yeah. Start a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> is it, what do you call the, the wee slug he had? Dave? No. It is one word though, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. He's dead. Doug. Doug's dead. Doug. Yeah. That's it. I know, Doug's dead. I've been carrying him around ever since. I have squashed him. Yeah. Feel bad. Yeah. He's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, so Thor riding a rock. Um, Infinity War. Yeah. See, this is this. I should look at it again because now I'm like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> um, what have you got right now and what would you change it to? I have the Avengers. Isn't in, one? Yeah, one. Not, yeah. not, not second one. It was dreadful. Um... No, okay, so I'll have Thor Ragnarok, I'll have Infinity War, Guardians 1, okay. Marvel, Marvel? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Avengers 1 for number 4, and then Civil War for 5th, I think. Civil War was excellent, Mike. Yeah, I it's really between those Civil two War. for 4th and 5th, though. I, I don't think I could probably put them in 4th and 5th. Civil War is like a mini Avengers, which yeah. is why it's so bloody good. Yeah. Like, well, I think oh, I'm good. I'm good. And that intro is Black Panther as well, and Spider Man. I didn't really enjoy Black Panther all that much. See, I as I said earlier, I didn't on first view, and yeah, when I know a lot, you know, it's up for Oscars. They're gonna put it forward for nomination. Well, I didn't. Yeah, that's. Fine. It's obviously a game changer. Like, yeah, it's a really good show, um, but I just but, didn't enjoy it because it was sort of for me. It just felt separate from everything else for some reason. Uh, probably just, because they didn't really. They didn't really hype them up that much, did they? Well, well, yeah, well, sort of. But I think a lot of the the response was so hype that whenever I went to see it the first time, I was sort of like, right, this is going to be the best film ever yet. Yeah. And then whenever I walked out, I was like, eh. yeah. I mean, and then I watched it the second time. I was like, yeah, it's bloody good. It's a good film. Yeah, yeah, it is but... a really good film, but I just don't think it is on par with. One thing I'm just biased, me, I think. One thing that really annoyed me about that film, they CGI'd yeah. the African planes. We have real ones. Did they? Yes. Why'd they do that? I don't know. Just go and film them. They are right there. You can CGI bits in. Yeah. But just go and, like, uh, spread the wealth. Go and give them some money. Yeah. Like, not for charity. Like, they have gorgeous Savannah, yeah. you know, places in the Savannah or wherever it was supposed to be in. Yeah. Um, and, uh, they didn't, they didn't pay for it. That sort of annoyed me. They just CGI'd the life out of it. Probably spent more money than they had you know, on CGI than they did for anything else. Yeah, I can imagine so. But out of the, um, the films that we actually don't know release, obviously we know there's more coming between now and 2022. Mm-hmm. What ones do you reckon they'll be? Do you reckon they'll be ones that are sort of already out there? Like, you know, the likes of... How did that? Yeah. So we know Far From Home. We know yeah. Captain Marvel. Yeah. We know Avengers Four. Four. Yeah. We you, can assume... You've seen something about Black Widow having her own film. Yep. I reckon she'll be one because she, there's talk she's going to get big money. Yeah. Which would be awesome if it's done right. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a bit more gritty because she's not super as yeah. such. She's just cool. Yeah. Um, well, it should also be uh, probably like an origin thing as well. Loads of the things. No, I can imagine her as being... Um, just a spy. Yeah, like before. Yeah. You know, not like an origin story, but when she was like working yeah, yeah. in between and also maybe when her and Clint had that oh. thing they spoke about do you remember where it's like you saved my life and whatever I can imagine that could potentially come into it um, so Black Widow um, obviously we know Guardians 3 is likely yeah. but we just don't know right now because of the whole thing going on um, has to be another Spider-Man there will be I think there'll be three yeah. I think there'll be another Black Panther has to be I think they'd be foolish to leave Doctor Strange done now. I think he needs another one. But I think two would be enough. He was a big enough. He was a, quite a big part in Infinity, Infinity War. War. So. Huge. I think he could be 
an interesting one. Yeah. To see where they go with him. Um, but beyond that, oh, Captain Marvel too is bound to be. Yeah. Um, well, bound to be. That there's there's just has to be. I mean, she if she's gonna be the face of this going forward, they're just they can't leave her at one film. Um. Beyond that though, that's sort of just finishing off Bar Black Widow. What we know. Yeah. There's bound to be something else. There's bound to be another hero that we'll see at the end credits. I think we'll, we'll bring out some some sort of origin stories, I think. Honestly, I think they will. I know they're done to a death, but I just think we'll bring Apparently out some. Apparently they're done. Apparently they're not doing any more of those. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Apparently they're just saying the origin stories are old now. Like, yeah. we're not doing them anymore. Basically, we're just going to introduce you to a character. You'll get to know the character as they are. Yeah. And then if an origin comes in, like, sort of, like... What I'm sort of getting like a the feel, thing. yeah, like what I'm getting the feel from, um, the way they did Infinity Marvel. War. Oh, you know the scene between Thanos and uh, Gamora, yeah, just before he throws her off, and you see, the sort of, how that started, but mm-hmm. it, it's only like five minutes. Yeah, you know she, gets the knife perfectly balanced, mm. and does all the, you know, and all that wizardry stuff. Yeah, and like she holds it and he she balances it and he says too much this side and it yeah. falls too much. All that. Um, I have a funny feeling that's what they're going to do in Captain Marvel. And if they do have um, a Black Widow, we're sort of already invested in her anyway. Yeah. You know, we care about Natasha Romanov or yeah. whatever she wants to go by. Um, so. <clears throat> Eleanor Chicken. Literally. Whatever that's, that's, that's her actual name. Um, like, we care about her and um, it would also be a chance to get a Hawkeye a bigger role. Yeah. Although he's apparently got a really big role in Avengers 4 as Ronan. Um, apparently his family get ashed oh and there's a scene in the trailer where oh that's awful um, yeah like there's a scene in the trailer where Black Widow was sitting there and he has trashed the house like he has gone nuts and that's what brings him back into the because he needs to fight to get his family back that's and he comes awful. back as Ronan like yeah. the hooded badass yeah sort of like the Queen <laughs> Arrow of yeah Marvel sort of yeah, yeah. that's um, awful though yeah apparently his his kids and his wife got ashed. Velma got... Velma got ashed. Is that her? Yeah, it's Velma. Holy crap! Yeah. Full circle, that's nuts. <laughs> so that's Linda Cartley. See, now you're saying that? Oh my, it's so obvious. Yeah. Oh my word. <laughs> you don't really notice it because... No. To be fair, she, she does get suited and booted in one of the films. It's her hair all down and she's all like... Oh, Oh my word! Yeah. Oh my word! That's blew my mind. Who's that? That's class. <laughs> well, there you go. There oh, you go. Ashed. Unbelievable. That's so sad. We've been ashed. No one fights for us. Yeah, that's right. We're dead. Yeah. But hopefully, we they win when we come back. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like another side send that you get? You know, or are you just permanently dead? No, oh, no. I think if if they do win this, everyone in the universe will come back because there's talk that um, obviously it's not just Earth. This is everywhere. Yeah. So everyone is going to be coming at Thanos right now. They are all pissed yeah. that half their world's gone. So it's going to be like a bigger thing. So like whenever Thor and Rocket eventually bump into Captain Marvel, they're like, right, we're going to get an army here or what? Yeah. Sort of thing. So. No, or Rocket. Rocket? Rocket. Rocket. Rocket's army of raccoons. But, uh, rabbit. No, um, <laughs> But uh, that's right. Come yeah, on, rabbit. come on, rabbit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think possibly there's nine, uh, and I think there will be a maybe one or two that, like for example, if Doctor Strange two doesn't happen, that'll be filled with a new superhero. Yeah, another one because they need to start introducing new ones um to fill in the phases going forwards. Yeah. So. Yeah. Would they be no wonder. You don't know, really. I mean. It just depends who they cast. If you can, you can sort of look at their casting and go. Uh, there's talk that they're gonna get X Men and they're gonna own those soon. Yeah. Um. So there's talk that Clint Eastwood's son Scott could become Wolverine. Hmm. Which I think is the equivalent of David Moyes taking over from Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah. That's a big, big job. Like. Big boots to fill. Like. Yeah, I know some people don't like. Um, Hugh Jackman but he is a damn good Wolverine it just makes sense doesn't it really or it might be Ryan Reynolds you know the, the Deadpool and Wolverine sort of come. it's just a real shame that if he does Deadpool would die if 
I honestly am cool with Deadpool being over. Like, if after two films, yeah. I think they've nailed it. Any more than that, I might be like, uh, it's enough. Yeah, like don't push it. I think it's really good. I would love him in the cameo roles, and as you say, X Men films, yeah. like showing up trying to get Logan or um, Wolverine or whatever to do something would be cool. Yeah. But um, in terms of his own standalone thing, I'm okay. I think they're really good. Yeah, I just like I just like Ryan Reynolds. I think he's funny. Oh, he's great. Yeah, I mean, he's really good. Don't know. Like I think I prefer. Don't know. I th- you couldn't really fit him in the Marvel universe at the moment. No, I mean, he while is... they do get a bit more sweary in this most recent films. Yeah. The line they have to tread to make sure that all these films do as well as they do is, you know, a millimeter thin. Yeah. You know, they probably push it as far as they can yeah. to hit twelve. And then one more swear would 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 have made it a fifteen, you know, yeah. and one more bit of violence would have made it a fifteen or whatever, um. But yeah, no, I think those may be my nine, maybe, but as I say, I'm expecting a yeah a new one in there. I'm expecting any gods and them to be fair. Like we we didn't even realize the Captain Marvel film would be coming out any time whenever between obviously, mm. at the very beginning you wouldn't expect the films to be that long or they even go that far, but they have and. Oh, but there's another like twenty billion years that happens. So just over yeah, I'd be fine with in twenty twenty eight. I'm still doing this, and then having Marvel twenty instead of the ten in it. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I really enjoy that actually. Be so cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think that'll that'll do us for this episode. Yeah, uh, thanks for listening, folks. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? We'll catch it was you the super. Next... <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> these puns just kill me. Do you just you're not punny you're not punny yeah. well sorry for that one folks um, <laughs> well uh, we'll, we'll catch you in the next one bye